Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Moksha Canada Foundation Hope Canada podcast. I'm your host, Karina, and we have... Isabel. So please introduce yourself to the audience. Hi, I'm Isabel Ortiz. I'm a singer, and I'm, I'm super excited to be here today. And I'm super excited to have you here today. We have just such a like, talented, um, amazing guest on this podcast. As you all know, this podcast supports inclusivity and resilience, and I'm just so happy to have you here. And I want to know, how did you get started in music? Well, I've loved singing ever since I was little, but I started singing lessons when I was eight years old, and then I started performing, and I've been performing ever since, and I love it so much. Amazing. And do you have a favorite singer inspiration? Um, I love Ariana Grande and Conan Gray because yes. I love their songs. Oh, and Conan Gray. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What's like your favorite songs from them? Um, I don't know. I love most Ariana Grande songs, and I love Conan Gray's new song. Mm-hmm. Which one? Um, Jigsaw. I oh, love okay. that one. Cool. So, do you put out covers of like Ariana songs or Conan songs? Do you kind of like practice singing them at home or perform them? Yeah. Yes. I love singing them, like, just in my bedroom and mm-hmm. listening to them. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So those are your inspirations um, when talking about celebrities, but what about, like, in your personal life? Who, do, who, in, who inspires you, like, your family? or? Yeah, my parents, because I give really good advice, mm-hmm. and my mom's really supportive, and my dad. And, yeah, they've always been really supportive, and they teach me a lot of good things. So Amazing. What, what's something big that they have taught you? I don't know, just to, like, be confident in myself and, like, believe in myself. Yeah. And, yeah. I love that. I love that. So, how's, how's school going? Want to talk about that? How, it's okay. How is it? Because you're back in person, right? Yeah, I'm back in person. It's kind of different than mm-hmm. how it used to be, but it's okay. It's mm-hmm. going good. How was life during the pandemic, you know, the quarantine, being at home? Um, at first, it was kind of frustrating, but then since everything moved online, I feel like we've all kind of, like, adapted to it, I guess, and mm-hmm. learned to just, like, deal with it. Mm-hmm. But it's going good, I guess. What about in terms of being an artist? How did you spend your time? Um, well, everything moved online, and I think that was very interesting because we all had to learn to, like, perform online and right. do everything through Zoom. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I feel like it's different, but I feel like it's good, though, because... Um, you doing online is like very helpful i guess so Mm -hmm. it's different yeah it's just like a learning opportunity yeah you did online concerts or yeah and also like online performances Mm -hmm. too yeah so that was really fun do you you write original songs too yes i have a couple out so you want to talk about your original uh pieces of work yes so i released them in 2021 and 2020 um they're called try again you cheer me up and favorite time of year so that's good. Amazing. What is uh, the meaning of those songs? Like, what's the message behind them? Um, Try Again is about how I, like, faced my fears and learned to believe in myself. Mm-hmm. And You Cheer Me Up is about how my family and friends cheer me up and support me. And Favorite Time of Year is, like, a Christmas song or, like, a holiday song. Awesome. Oh, I love that. You have Christmas songs. That's so cute. <laughs> so do you have music videos, too? Um... I don't think so, no. It's just, like, the songs out. Yeah. So, like, all streaming platforms? Yes, on Spotify and YouTube and Apple Music. So, what's your artist name? Like, what do people search? Isabel Ortiz, but my Instagram is Positively Isabel. Okay, cool. Is it just Positively Isabel? There's no, like, underscore or anything? Um, it's Positively.Isabel. Okay, Positively.Isabel. Everyone follow. (laughs) You know, she's a star. Um, what are you looking forward to coming out of the pandemic? Any concerts you want to go to or that you want to perform at like any venues traveling yeah i would love to travel and i would love to go to some concerts because everything's like starting to open up slowly so i'm really excited about that Mm -hmm. and i'm excited that everything's opening up so i can finally perform in person again yes me too me too everything is actually slowly opening up now which is really exciting um so how has it been like managing your time as an artist but also like going to school have you struggled with finding time for yourself or i guess i mean i've kind of like learned to um like focus on school and um my singing Mm -hmm. and i practice a lot and i sing um i sing a lot and i like just try to balance it 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have, like, a schedule? Do you have to, like, write things down? Or does your mom, like, help you, like, a schedule? Yeah, I mean, I kind of just practice, like, at the end of the day when I get home from school or whatever. So you're just, like, in that routine? Yeah, and I also yeah. do um, singing lessons, so. Cool. How often do you have to take your singing lessons? Well, I do it, like, once a week, mm-hmm. but I also do um, other things. Yeah, and then you practice on your own probably, like, every day, right? Yes. <laughs> um. So, like, what has your biggest struggle been as a performer? I'm assuming, like, maybe during COVID you felt like it was a struggle to not perform in front of an audience, but is there anything else that you've, like, over overcome? I don't know. Before, I used to be, like, really shy about performing, but mm-hmm. I've learned that, like, being nervous is okay and it's just, like, yeah. building up to it. And I've learned to, like, be more confident in myself, mm-hmm. so that's really good. Um, and I've also learned to just, like, relax when I'm singing, I guess, because it really helps me, and I find it makes me really happy, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. It's all about just having a good time and performing for people that, you know, you want to have them have a good time as well with you when you're singing or dancing, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so I want to know, how do you feel about being here today for the Moksha Canada Foundation Hope Canada podcast? We're here at Bridalwood Mall. How does it feel to be in person for an interview? Feels good. I'm really excited mm-hmm. to do this interview and like perform today. And I've never been on Moksha Canada before, so in person. So I'm yeah. really glad. Yeah, because we did a Zoom interview, but that was for like a different podcast. So yeah, this is just like a whole new experience. Really fun. Yeah, and you're actually like here, like not. Yeah, on I'm actually here. Yeah, yeah, not on a little box, like on my computer. So mm-hmm. that's good. So I know you have some other interests outside of singing. I know you like makeup. <laughs> you want to talk about um, how you got into that or like your favorite brand? Yeah, I like um, doing that because I like, I like expressing myself. But mm-hmm. I also like reading mm-hmm. and I love going on walks and being outside. Mm-hmm. And I love acting and I like... Oh, so you act as well, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk like, about... Those are my some... main hobbies, I guess. You want to talk about some acting things that you've done? Yeah, I mean, like, everything has been kind of slow lately because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But I've done a couple of things, and, yeah, I just love auditioning and doing that. And I love doing workshops, too. Oh, that's cool. Have you done, like, self-tapes at home? Yeah. Yeah. Um, During, like, 2020 and 2021, everything moved to, like, self-tapes instead of in person. Um, But I find that that's more helpful. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that, because, like, I feel like when you're recording a video, like, kind of like how we are right now, we're recording something, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can, like, watch it back and be like, okay, do I want to fix, like, a part of it, do it better? Yeah. You can do, like, another take, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're in control, because you're exactly. doing a self tape. Yeah, but then when you walk into an audition room, it's like, you make a mistake, <laughs> oh, there's no going back, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, but both are good in different ways, because I feel like live auditions, it teaches you how to, like, manage your like stress and anxiety yeah you can kind of do like breathing exercises and things like that so there's like you know because like when you do on stage performances you can't always like (laughs) pre-record right (laughs) so it teaches you kind of how to like calm your nerves and stuff when you have those like live in-person things yeah um anything else that you might have done during the pandemic that kind of developed into a new hobby I know you said you went for walks and things like that was there anything else was there like a show you started watching a movie you really liked because everyone was like binging shows and stuff. yeah my favorite show is stranger things i've been oh, okay. watching it since like 2019 That's and i cool. love it so much mm-hmm. amazing oh i wasn't expecting you to say like stranger <laughs> things but i'm like okay i love that yeah um hmm so if you had to choose between singing and acting would you could you choose or <laughs> yeah i mean i definitely like both but mm-hmm. i love singing because i've been doing it for so long mm-hmm. and it like makes me happy so and mm-hmm. i also love acting because you can just like play different roles and yeah i don't know you can just like be different characters and mm-hmm. act certain ways so it's really good what kind of like roles and stuff like have you played or like have you done like a commercial type of thing like what what have you done yeah i've done like this show it's called like my home my life it's on um tvo and oh, right, it's right. about like okay. Uh, my family and things like that. How was that process? It was like really interesting. It I guess. It comes to your house, right? Like, yeah. Board? Yeah. Okay. It was different because it was like a different environment because it's not in a studio. It's just like your personal life. Mm-hmm. So I found that really interesting, and I love seeing like the other episodes because mm-hmm. I get to learn about other people and how they live. So was that your first time on TV? 
Yeah. How was that? So I'm assuming you watched it like at home. You watched yourself on TV. How was it to like see yourself on the screen? It was very different because like when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just yeah. crazy to see yourself like on TV. No, for sure. Yeah. Because I know like even like some interviews that I've done and stuff, I'm like, Oh, like, okay, I'm actually kind of good at answering questions, like, hey. <laughs> you know, and it kind of shows you, like, your potential of what you could be, like, in the future, you know? Yeah. Speaking of future, <laughs> what plans, like, do you have um, for yourself? Like, I know you're still r- very young, but yeah. do you have, like, any ideas of what you want to go into, like, after school or anything? Like, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I don't know. I, I really want to be a doctor, I guess, and help oh people. Gosh. yeah and i also want to pursue like music Mm -hmm. and i still want to do it and i love it so much you can do both i know people who do both so yeah Yeah. i would love to do both and i want to like release more music and perform more Mm -hmm. you know are you in the process of writing any new music now yes (laughs) oh really yeah okay spill that tea (laughs) tea. (laughs) like um during the pandemic i wrote a lot of songs but I just like writing it for myself too. But if I really like it, I'll release it. Mm-hmm. And like I've had writer's block sometimes, so it's kind of hard to write. Yeah. But I just love it because I like to express my emotions and write about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think everyone deals with writer's block at yeah. one point or another. Um, but usually, I think what helps, like for me personally, is just taking a break. And then you'll get inspired by something and you'll go right back to it, you know? So just like giving yourself that time to like naturally find something for inspiration than forcing yourself into it you know yeah um so what else other than uh writing your new song is there any like do you do performances with your school is there anything like that or is it still like not really happening because of covid um it's not really happening because of covid but hopefully it um does happen soon like in the near future Mm -hmm. because i really love doing it and Mm -hmm. i want to perform more and i don't know like my school um like, I did some performances, but then everything closed down, so. Right. What was, like, your last performance before COVID? Um, well, everything opened up kind of, like, in the fall of last year. Mm-hmm. Um, the last thing I did was the gala, and I think okay, you guys Okay, so you're too. talking about Youth Day Gala. Yeah. yeah. Yes, okay, cool. It was really fun performing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And what would you say your favorite performance has been? Um, I performed at the CNE Rising Stars, and that was really different and interesting for me because that was like my first big performance, I guess. Mm-hmm. There's and a I lot like, of people at that show. Like, yeah. At the CNE, and then also just like walking by and stuff because the CNE is like such a huge event. So yeah. It was really fun. Mm-hmm. What did What did you sing there? Um, I sang "A Change Is Gonna Come" because mm-hmm. that's like my go-to song, I guess. Okay. And I also sang that at the gala. Oh right, right, right. Yes, I remember. Cool. Yeah. Um, and what are you singing today? I'm singing Arcade and Could You Be Messiah, so. And why did you choose those songs for the Hope Canada podcast? Um, I really love those songs, and I like the message behind it. Mm-hmm. What would you say the message behind it? Like, what, what is the meaning behind it? Um, I don't know. It's, like, hard to explain, but mm-hmm. I just like how it makes me feel and when I'm singing it. So it's, like, up for interpretation, you know? Like, everyone yeah. might interpret it in a different way. That's fine. Yeah. Um, anything else that you want to kind of, like, give yourself promo for, for people to go and find, like, any videos, um, or is there, like, do you use TikTok or something? You want to talk about that? Is it, sorry. Is there anything else, like, a social media platform that you want people to follow you on specifically? Yes, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Positively Isabel, yes. and my, and follow me on Instagram, All right, Positively guys. Isabel. You heard it here, follow Positively dot Isabel instagram subscribe to youtube channel and anything else oh streaming platforms right yes follow me on spotify stream my songs isabel ortiz so before we get into your performance which i'm super excited to see i know you have a small business so how about we give that a shout out yes follow shop underscore daisy underscore days on instagram and yeah i make handmade lip balms and yeah that's amazing. Okay, wait. I started it during the pandemic. I, 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 I'm just so impressed. You make handmade lip balm. So, yeah. like, how do you, I'm assuming, like, you have help with your parents. Like, how do you do it? 
Yeah, my mom helps me run the thing on Instagram, mm-hmm. and I do the orders through Instagram. So, so that's people good. DM you, and then yeah, you're able order. to like you're able to like ship it to them or whatever. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. Okay, well, everyone. Go get yourself some lip balm. I'm looking forward to your performance. Thank you so much for coming today. And let's get started with some singing. Yay. A broken heart is all that's left. I'm still fixing all the cracks Lost a couple of pieces when I carried it and carried it, carried it home I'm afraid of all I am My mind feels like a foreign land Silence ringing inside my head Please carry me, carry me, carry me home I spend all of the love I saved We were always a losing game Small town boy in a big arcade I got addicted to a losing game The end for it begun Till I carried, I carried, I carried To a 
a helpless survivor Can you take away my fears? I heard them all sharing This newfound conviction in them Are you all that they make you to be? And just one more question Allow me this question could you be Messiah? Please be Messiah to me. Cause I've been looking for someone like you. And I'm so tired, I'm tired. I've read every book and I've sang every song I must. Be right, but my heart feels so wrong. Tell me how much farther can my life go along? Which way do the roads lead? Where do I belong? Are you a forgiver of my most unknown secrets? Wow, that was amazing. I loved that performance and I know everyone in the audience did as well. So please remind everyone where we can find you on social media. My Instagram is positively.isabel. My YouTube is positively Isabel and stream me on Spotify at Isabel Ortiz. Yes, everyone go find her on all of those platforms. And if you would like to get involved just like Isabel over here, then head over to mokshacana.com to get involved. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much, Isabel, for coming. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next Saturday.